Hi, my name is Jake Spurlock. I'm a web producer here at Make Magazine, and I'm so excited about this weekend project. Zach DeVore is a maker from Chicago who created these great robots. He used some old analog components to create a simple circuit to power these solar chariot robots. So I'm going to let Tyler, one of our engineering interns, show you how to build this weekend project. These toys are members of the Beam robot family, even if they're not really fully fledged robots. Beam robot design is inspired by biology. It's a way of making simple robotic creatures that react to a stimulus, using only basic electronic components, no microprocessors. Beam bots are kind of like insects. With just a primitive nervous system, even without a big brain, they get around and handle their business just fine. The two vehicles featured in this weekend projects are called solar chariots because they're powered by the sun, and they use that power to move themselves around independently when they feel like it. You'll learn how to build a solar roller, a self-powered car, and a Cymet, a sort of powered spinning top driven by energy stored in three capacitors. Both these types of solar chariots use the same circuit, known in beam as a solar engine. The solar engine circuit gathers electricity from a solar cell and stores it in a capacitor until there's enough for the robot to do something with it, then discharges it into the motor so the robot moves. You will need the following parts for the build. Three large 4700 microfarad capacitors collect and store the electricity needed to make the vehicles move. They basically function like a battery in this circuit. You'll also need these parts. Heat shrink tubing, glue, eighth inch brass telescoping metal tubes, zip tie, 1 8 inch birch plywood or other material to cut body parts out of. You'll also need motors and a rubber tape wheel assembly from an old cassette player. We tore down an old micro cassette player to get these components. You might have to experiment to find out what works with this circuit. And we'll want these tools. The first thing you will need to do is heat shrink the LED. Instead of using the LED as a light, it is used as a switch. When the capacitors are charged enough to light the LED, the LED flashes and conducts enough electricity to trip the transistors, which then switch the power onto the motor. Covering the LED will prevent ambient light from triggering it. Mark the top of the 3906 transistor so that it can be identified later. Join the two transistors facing each other like so. Along with glue, you can use some colorful heat shrink tubing to join them together. Wire the transistors together as shown in the photos and diagram on the project page. When you're finished, they should look like this. Next, wire together the main parts of the solar engine. You'll want to follow the steps on the weekend projects page and consult the circuit illustration provided there. When you're done, your circuit should look like this. There's a template on the project page that you can use to laser cut chariot parts, or you can transfer the images to any strong, lightweight material and carefully cut them out by hand. Attach the motor to the chariot body. Use a piece of brass tubing and heat shrink to create an axle. The solar engine is attached to the body by small zip ties or scrap pieces of wire then solder the motor to the solar engine circuit. Attach the rear wheel to the chariot. Build two wheels. One will have a belt pulley from the cassette player, which will be the drive wheel. Assemble your wheels so that the belt fits securely between the drive wheel and the motor. Attach the solar cell by soldering it onto your solar engine circuit, making sure positive and negative are correct as seen here and per the illustration on the project page. Beam is all about simplicity. The power and ground wires from the solar cell have the dual function of providing structural connection to the chariot. Besides making it easy, the design allows you to adjust the angle of your cell for maximum light exposure. For the Cymet, cut out its body parts from the template. Glue the three 4700 microfarad capacitors in the holes and add heat shrink tubing material to them after they're dry. 
Follow the instructions online to connect the caps to the circuit and motor and connect the circuit to the solar cell. This is the same circuit as the solar roller, but it looks different because it's built into a different assembly. Now you're ready to put your chariots in the sun and watch them charge and fire. Let the games begin. Make different fun designs for the Cymet body or tweak the design of the roller to reduce weight and friction. You can even experiment with a more powerful capacitor. You can learn a lot from this trial and error process. And most of all, have fun.